uh, number seven, Ari Pell, uh, my mate. Uh, everyone keeps going on about uh, our bromance, and it is, I suppose. I feel like I feel like I'm his dad at times. Not his dad. I know I look like his dad, but I feel like I'm, I'm his older brother at times. It, it's like every every time you you go out with him, you just you just go, oh no, here he is. Oh no, and he'll say things, but he's brilliant. He's just there's never a dull moment when you're with Pelly, and I, and I absolutely love being around him. Is the life and soul of the team, you know, him and Stoz just keep things ticking over. And I said with Stoz last week about, uh, I think they're in a, a competition to be, to see who's the loudest mm. is, you know, and, and uh, they're both taking that on. They're still competing for that, I think, but he's just, yeah, just a, a barrel of laughs to be around all the time. Again, another standout performance for this season. He's, uh, I think he scored three free kicks in a row. Uh, I don't think one of them was hit sweetly. One was a deflection. One bubbled in and one went under the wall. So, you know, I think every time he hits a free kick sweet, it never, it never goes in. So every time I keep saying to him, just kick the floor, mate, and bobble it in. You know, so... But no, he's been a great player. I think he scored... I don't know if it's our best goal, but it's definitely up there one of our best goals at Forest Green away, you know. What a massive goal that 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 was, and uh, you know, Munzee's ball over, a greater ball over from Munzee, and the way he took it, just brought it down, and then nonchalantly flicked it into the the top corner. It's a great goal, but um, but no, he's he, he really is he in the, around the training ground. He will just rip the shreds out of anyone. He doesn't care. He will bring you down to size <laughs> like that. He's he's quick like that, and. Uh, but the good thing with it, he'll, he'll do it with everyone. But it's in jest. It's it's never malicious. And I think everyone knows that. And everyone knows what he's like. So, you know, as soon as you know when he's about, because as soon as you walk into a room, if you've got the smallest thing out of place, if you're if you're a little bit, you know, conscious or a little bit weary of, of a fault of yours, he will go to town on it. He will pick that up and he will he will run with it. So like, I've told the story about Jordan Cranston. He'd just signed, just walked in, and the gaffer comes over and he's like, oh, Downsy, Jordan's just signed. Can you introduce him to the lads and that? And I'm like, yeah, no worries. I'm walking around with Jordan. I'm like, oh, this is the thing. Oh, this is Harry Pell. And Pella went, oh, my God, what is going on? You're missing a tooth. And he just, like, <laughs> hammered him instantly. Never met the bloke before. Never knew him from a bar of soap. And he just goes straight for his tooth. But it breaks that barrier, you know, and... and Jordan just laughed it off, and about a week later, he's got a tooth in. Uh, he's got it fixed, and you know, nothing's really been said since. So he must have been a little bit nervous about it. But no, that, that's what he's like, Pelly. He's just he's brilliant. He's he's just a, a you know a nice kid. He's got a good art, really, and he'll like I say he'll he will take the Mickey out of anyone and anyone, uh, everyone and anyone. So he's a uh, he's great to have around the place. He's got the longest legs in football, I think. <laughs> he takes about four strides, and he's, he's he's done the length of the pitch, whereas everyone else has got to take 100. But, uh, no, he's a big player for us and a massive presence, and he's he's a good person to have on your team, you know, because when you're, when you're standing in the tunnel and you've got six-foot-seven blokes stood, you know, behind you, you know, you can you can tell the other team a look and thinking, Jesus Christ, he's a big boy, you know, and... Oh, they're a big, so you know, and he's a good person on your team, and he, he will not, he will not pull out a tackle, as, as I think he's got eleven or twelve yellow cards this <laughs> yeah. season. He's not had a red yet, which is good, and we've been good like that. But uh, you know, he, he like I say he'll not pull out a tackle. He's full blooded when he plays. He he hates losing, hates losing, which is a great trait to have in a person. So yeah, massive play for us. Again, it's been a pleasure. To have met the bloke, to know the bloke, uh, I spend a fair bit of time with him around the training ground and, and out of the out of the training ground as well. Uh, I enjoy, like I say, it's never a dull moment when he's about, and uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to get to know him.